in our agency, we we believe that a family is more successful with when they when they have people helping them, when they're able to identify their support network, which is I think challenging, right? I think that initially families may not know who's there for them or who's not, and when we start working with families, we try to help them identify who is there for you and who is not, or who can help you during this process, because it is it is a very stressful process to have our agency involved, to have children removed from your care. So once we're able to find those people and search those people, we, we try to invite them to meetings uh, so that they can get to know what's happening and that they can get to support the parents through the reunification process. My journey with social services has been a very long time. I have 11 children and I've been in the system with all of them. Um, before I was an addict and I um, didn't have control of my addiction, that led me to get my children removed. I didn't want no part of social services in my life, so my biggest thing was to run. Every time I heard their name or every time I ran, I never gave it a chance. This time around is different. I was able to meet the right social worker and able to build a relationship with her and she believed in me and she didn't judge me for nothing. My children were removed from me for a year now. I'm in the process of getting them back in my custody. She's been involved with our agency for many years and I think that was really difficult for her and that has been really difficult for her. When I was assigned to work with Angelica, I really tried to see what was in front of me and not what that documentation showed, those things. I was able to get to know her for who she was. I have tried to work with her in a way where I'm trying to be non-judgmental about her past and I'm trying to meet her where she is now. So I expressed that to her earlier on, that my goal as her worker was to be able to work with her so that we could get to that point where her children could go back to her. One thing that I've learned specifically with Angelica is that parents have challenges, but it doesn't mean that they can't get those tools to be able to move forward. And that's something that I appreciate about her that when we were involved about a year ago and when I was assigned, she may not have had the tools at that time to safely parent, but now we're looking at a year later and she now has three of her children physically in her care. So that just speaks really loud and high about Angelica and her family and everything that they have been able to do. The first six months were very hard. It's really hard when you get a, a case plan in front of you saying, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do that. How am I going to do it if I have no help? But I did. I didn't realize I had all that help until I got the right people in front of me, people I could open up to that were going to judge me, that were going to be able to help me, to help me get through it, talk to me, talk to me, you know, get the anxiety, get everything away from me. Let me talk to my kids on the phone whenever I wanted to, things like that. Um, sending me pictures of my kids throughout the day, what they're doing and seeing them smile and knowing going to their games, stuff like that, it helped the process. Instead of not knowing, the not knowing is scary. And just to think, oh, I've been in the system for so long, they're not gonna give me my kids back. It's not gonna happen. And I didn't give up. I did not give up, you know, because I knew that I am a good mother. I'm a very good mother, and my children love me, and I love them. And I just am grateful that I got Priscilla in my life, that I was part of the system, that I gave it a chance this time. So people that are out there, women that are out there, that are struggling, that are suffering, don't be afraid. It's just a jump, hop, skip, and a way to get your children back in. You do what you gotta do. Hearing Angel right now, she's so vulnerable and being so honest, and she is a great mother. And, and I think that's what we learn about our parents, that our parents love their children. And Angel loves her children, and her children love her. And I see that bond every time I visit them.
they're hugging her, they're kissing her. Uh, she has a baby that's starting to talk and yesterday the baby said mama and, and, and it's, it was so nice to see that growth and that's what we are here for. We're here to support with that, to encourage them to know that they can do it. They can get to this point and I've seen many families get to this point. I am happy, I am grateful, I am thankful that I, I get to work so that I am able to see this and this transformation because to me, this is growth. Every family has strengths. They do have challenges, but if we focus on those strengths, we can get to this point where we are right now.